Hello, boys and girls, my name is Otisty, and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included, where we are waiting for our duplicates to finish off this setup, and of course, the uh, air in here being pulled out, which should not take too long, but we also need uh, at least 600 kilograms water per tile here on the floor. So, while that is being worked on, let's have a look around the base. Uh, we are putting in more nice pictures uh, than last time. We thought that here this farm in part is getting really cold due to the uh, the cooling that that we have um, so that's probably why uh, we should switch out some of the uh, radiant pipes with isolated pipes which I did and then we can also um, have farm trials here. Okay, and from this point on I think we should be good uh, if we close uh, off here on top and uh, open up here at the bottom. But let's close off first. Because here from the top we have access with atmospheres, here in the bottom we don't. And I don't want to mix those two up. Nice! So. We can do this, copy settings to here and there. And of course I did the same mistake again, broke the pipe behind the wall, not only the wall, which made quite a bit of a mess, which is stripping all the way down here. And building this pipe with materials that we don't have does not work. Let's do it this way. Deconstruct the uh, tiles here on top. Um, probably want an airflow tile here on this side. So let's this time only break the tile. 
that's a smart thing to do. So, how are we looking with, with iron? Yeah, we have queued up a bit more, so we can expand down here. Replace what we have. Uh, don't need that piece of wire anymore. And then we can also hook up these last two machines over on this side. Um, have not a drop off here. Right, so how's the progress down here? Water is stilling, still filling in the air, or the gases get less and less. It's still being pumped out. Um, and we have some, some slixos. That we can uh, make barbecue out of and see what we have here iron or copper seeing that we have an iron volcano hooked up quite soon I will take the copper over here we'll put that one in our farm as well out of iron but we still have queued up a bit okay looks like uh, we are good with the with the vacuum um, or maybe not. Up here there's still a bit of, of air left. So maybe if we put up here. Hook that up straight for now. Just the the progress that we need. here a bit of mealwood and 
copy the settings over to here. Should be good. Um, yep, yeah, our uh, salt slush geyser is working again, which means more water should be coming in here. also have vacuum on top here and we can deconstruct the wire there um, pump here um, all the gas pipes here and put in Steam turbine um, can also deconstruct the ladder. Still need a bit more uh, water here on the floor, but we're looking quite good. How are we temperature wise? We're in the yellow. The red or orange that was pretty dominant up here has receded and we should soon start the mealwood up here grow again. How are we temperature wise up here? degrees yes I think that's that's good enough how's the water temperature down here it's above 100 degrees so we see steam forming here and once the steam is hot enough um, 125 degrees we should see the steam turbine going on cooling everything down at least I hope that that is how it works Water is quite on the on the cool side, so it might actually might actually freeze. But that's not really a, a problem because once the volcano goes off, uh, it will melt itself into water quite quickly. Hmm. 
I did not consider that that this might be an invalid building location so we can deconstruct uh, uh, hold 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 the phone we will deconstruct the tile nothing else and then we shall construct a piece of wiring here yeah because now we can get up here on this side construct that put in the uh, the roof here and once that's closed off we can start pumping in hydrogen how about that yeah that's it that part is finished, so let's connect these pieces together. We need more water in here. We have 700 kilograms of ice over here. So if we would have three tons, that would also be, uh, be enough. Yeah, the hydrogen is flowing, led by a bit of carbon dioxide and uh, oxygen. Okay, nearly 900 kilograms of ice here. It has to distribute uh, itself a bit. That should be okay. And maybe we should also put a bit of uh, priority here on the on the rails so that when we get uh, iron out of here we can also ship it down here uh, into this water so it gets cooled down properly uh, and that went quite fast so question is why didn't you do it in the first place it's kind of weird now here the water level or the, the oil level is going down so pretty soon we have to turn on the uh, the oil well and to do that we have to dig out this thing here on this side there's 50 kilograms copper lying around and 
is two and a half tons of, uh, of iron. Should not let that go to waste. Temperatures are looking okay. How are we doing over here? Yeah. Still getting cooler up here, so maybe I need to switch out more of the, the radiant uh, pipes. Normal pipes. Just so it does not get too cool. Like here, body temperature halted uh, because probably it's too cold. take the, the the wool pop and get barbecue how are we doing still lacking water other than that should be okay so we did not quite make it with getting this set up running in this episode but it's only a matter of time until we get the water in and we can dig out the last piece over here so join me next time when hopefully we managed to do that. Goodbye.